the brown this prison if that railroad train was mine. Then I'd move it out a little farther down the line, far from Folsom Prison. That's where I thought you stay. And I've let that lonesome whistle blow my boots. bothers me a little bit though you know that whole song you did about um it was a true story the uh five foot high and rising out yeah. the water you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, there were sharecroppers and they had the flood with the river and dad took the front door off the house and made a raft out of it and floated the wife and the kids to higher ground where they could be picked up <clears throat> and rescued and uh, but if you follow the song He's like nine years old when this happened. So bear in mind the average height of the average kid at nine years old. Mm. And he's asking every time they turn around like a kid on a trip, are we there yet? Are we there yet? How high is the water, Mama? Well, it's one foot high and rising. Well, it's two foot high and rising. Mm. Well, it's three foot high and rising. And he keeps asking the question, and there's a flood going on, and the old man is trying to rescue the family. How high is the water, Mama? It's four foot high and rising. How high is the water, Mama? Show them out and them with the boat. And put that stupid guitar devil. Well, he could say that. He was sitting on the raft, and she wasn't, <laughs> evidently. Especially now, you see all these whiskers, and uh, you play an acoustic in, up in my area. People want to know if you do any Gordon Lightfoot. And, of course, they want to hear the song about the Edmund Fitzgerald, which is a great song. Yeah. But it's got, like, seven pages of lyrics. Yeah, it went on forever. <laughs> my neurons just don't connect well enough to remember that many words anymore. <laughs> Two or three words at a time, that's what I should I got gotcha. you. I understand that stuff. But they insist, so I try to do like a Reader's Digest version of the song, <laughs> just to appease them. wires made a tattletale slant and a seagull threw up on the railing. I didn't see it and stuck my hand in it. God, that's what I hate about saving. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> he said that uh, Tim Hawkins did something like that and he goes, and it sank. He did a version of it. And that was it. Fitzgerald, that's saying. Bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. And since I'm not wearing my dentures, this will go really well. I actually do this as an intro to the cat song. But one of my favorite all time favorite cats, Sylvester, has been in the studio making a new CD. Yes, Sylvester sings. You may not have known this. Just don't get too close. You could get but he has a, a new CD called Sylvester Sings Hits of the 70s. We'll see if you remember this one. Testing, testing. Felines, <laughs> nothing more than felines, trying to forget my felines of love.
peek, a peek, a peek, a hairball. <laughs> I never figure out anybody can sing a song without having to cough once in a while. That gets you the whole thing, though. Yep. That's, that's why they pay them more. Mm-hmm. Or having to sneeze while. Wow. Yeah, right. Well, I try to come up with songs that haven't been done yet. Just a lot of subjects that people won't touch for some reason. A uh, big thing is. Uh, Prearranged funerals now, which a long time ago I thought only the mafia did that. <laughs> um, now it's like everybody does it, I guess. The prearranged funerals, and there weren't any songs about it. So I came up with an economy prearranged funeral. People tell me I ought to save my money. So that I can be laid away in style In a walnut box with all the fancy trimmings Vacuum sealed to keep me fresh a while But send me to glory in a glad bag Don't you waste a fancy coffin on my bones No, no, just set me out on the curb next Tuesday let the sanitation local bear me home. Sell all my worldly possessions. And buy yourselves a case or two of caps. Let the empties be my memorial tombstone. Engrave them with this epitaph. Just send me to glory in a glad bag. Don't you waste a fancy coffin on my bones Oh, just set me out on the curb next Tuesday Let the sanitation local bear me home If I should die upon the eve of Christmas Just place my baggie by the Christmas tree And when the children, they open all their goodies well, their big surprise will be the death of me. Send me to glory in a glad bag. <coughs> Don't you waste the fancy coffin on my bones. So just set me out on the curb next Tuesday. Let the sanitation local bear me home. But maybe I am not bound for glory. And to that other place I would not choose. But if it seems that I am headed in that direction, then an oven bag would be the thing to use. <laughs> Send me to glory in a glad bag. <coughs> Don't you waste a fancy coffin on my bones. So no, just set me out on the curb next Tuesday. Let the sanitation local, let the sanitation local, let the sanitation local bear me home. All right, good job. <laughs>